welcome back to my channel it's been a really long time since i posted so i thought i would do a swatch video i'm using these really cheap tips that i got from amazon they're just display tips i don't put them on clients um i sculpt that's my preferred method so i've run out of the normal tips that you put your colors on so i'm just going to put them on the underside so I don't have to file and I don't have to top coat. It just saves time. By the normal tips, these are the things that I mean, the ring tips. And I put those on the underside too. So I've got some clients this weekend and I obviously wanted to be able to show them. Um, that's my CJP size 8 brush, which I've had since forever. But yeah, I wanted to be able to show them the new colours. This is the Liz Guild collection from cjp it is the winter christmas collection if you like um i've got all but one of them um, i haven't got elf elf is a green and red glitter remix and it's not my client's bag at all i know that they won't wear it so i've not bought it but i've got all of the others and this is super super pretty i'm working in nice small beads and I'm just pushing and nudging the glitter where I want it to be as you can see it's not sloppy it's not wet it applies just like the core strength powders but you do need to cap it because obviously it's got lots of glitter in there and most glitters these days are silver based and if you file through the glitter you'll end up with silver flecks So I'm not sure what I'm actually doing off camera at this moment in time. So I'll just chat to you. Um, I have made a promise, a commitment to myself. I don't really make New Year's resolutions, but my commitment is that I will post more videos in the new year. So I've just shown you, I think it was shooting stars then, but I don't know where the footage has gone. So I haven't actually got that one and it'll flash up in a second the finished nail which is really strange because i just don't know where it's gone but there we are so yeah so i've made a commitment that i am going to post more videos it will be in the new year though because i'm going away over christmas to somewhere really cold um where i won't be doing nails so yeah so this is the tip and you can see it shows the color really nicely and there's no need to top coat if you do it on the underside and then any moment about now there'll be a flash of the shooting star i think it was um and then there's the tip again why am i showing you it twice god knows i did record this about a week ago maybe and I'm only just voicing over I've had a super crazy year and yeah <laughs> hopefully hopefully in the new year it's all calm it's all settled and I can get some videos in and I can get posting again I do try I do really, really try but life think is the word i'm looking for just 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 life gets in the way unfortunately but there we are so throw a tin in front <laughs> in front of the camera the tin lid so we've got crystals this is a really nice silver it's super pretty and i really like it so i'm wetting my surface well the tip before i put the acrylic down I'm just using my wet brush in the monomer and it just gives the acrylic something to sort of stick to and adhere to. Uh, nail tips are really smooth. So sometimes it's, um, you know, it can be a bit slippy and as it's setting it can slip down but I find that putting the monomer down gives you A, something to grip to and B, it stops any um, air pockets or powdery sections showing through on your nail so yeah hopefully my clients will appreciate the effort that i'm going to <laughs> to show them but yeah i'll order some new nail stick tip things and have to do them all over again <laughs> in the new year 
definitely not doing on this side of Christmas. Definitely not. And something I don't miss is the nail tech madness. I keep seeing loads and loads of posts in all the nail groups going, oh my god. <laughs> I've not, I feel like I've not slept. I look like a glitter goddess <laughs> covered. I don't miss that. People have got filed fingers, the fingers are sore, the clients are having to feed them. Don't miss it at all. I just do my few regular clients now. Once a month, and that's, that, that, that's enough for me. Definitely enough for me. So that's a really pretty purpley starry one. And I have a feeling that my client this Saturday is going to have this because she has a thing with stars. So if I can get a video, I will. But here in Staffordshire, we are forecast snow. For the eighth day in a row. So, hmm, we all want to be home when it snows, don't we? We don't want to be out in it, especially not in cars. So, it might not be a a video appointment, let's say. <laughs> Probably be a, we all need to get home video. <laughs> so, this is Mr. Frosty. I hate white. I can't lie, I hate, hate, hate white acrylic. It's not CJP, it's not anything anyone's done, it's not any other brand. I just don't like it. There's just something about white acrylic that I don't like. <laughs> but I really like this one. So I think I'm a little bit converted uh, with Mr Frosty. White acrylic just, I don't know, it's like black, isn't it? Obviously it's not like black, but it is. Black's a bit of a bugger to work with. And white can be a little bit of a mare sometimes. So this is Frozen. Little story for you. About a year ago, I ordered Frozen from CJP. It was the only blue in the order that I put in. And it came without a sticker on the pot. Wasn't a problem. It was the only blue. It was Frozen. I then watched Chloe's All About Nails on YouTube. And I saw in her um, colour and ratio video for the blues that my Frozen looked nothing like hers. That's because I've been using blue jeans and not Frozen. But it's all good. My clients love the blue jeans Frozen <laughs> and they'll love this one even more. And I really think that, like I said, I'm going to wait over Christmas and New Year and I think this will be on my nails because there'll be lots of ice and snow where I'm going. So I think this colour, is it stone? Is it stone? No. St where did I get stone from? It's Mrs. Claus. <laughs> it's bright red, Amy. So yeah, bright red. It's got a lovely glitter shimmer in it. It is very, very highly pigmented. Um, make sure if you've got this colour, you really, really thoroughly clean your brush keep wiping it on your paper towel because if you don't your monomer is going to be red before you know it probably after the first dip if i'm honest it's really pigmented you can see in the background um where it's just come out for threads of the pot and it's just a little dust in there and it's very very vibrant so you don't need a lot really excellent coverage the the skill collection they are all What's the word I'm looking for? Design powders. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. So they do need to be capped in your strength core powder. Preferably, that will also be um, a CJP. And it would preferably be clear ice or crystal glass. Um, I don't think capping in birthday suit would be a good idea because you wouldn't see the colour. So I've got Milky Way here. It's a really, really, again, this is... Mrs. Claus, really, but in the blue version. So it's exactly the same in consistency. It's the exact same pigmentation. It's got the exact same glitter shimmer in it. It's just blue rather than it being red. And you need to wash your brush with this one as well. Not as in wash your brush, but clean your brush. 
because it's highly pigmented and you can see it on the on the kitchen roll in the background so i think is this one yes this is stone i've ummed and ahed. i really like gray and i've ummed and ahed a lot about you know stone so it might be a bit too dark for me it probably is a little bit dark for me but it's got these little flecks in it and it actually looks like stone it's not just a block color it's really it's really interesting to look at so i might try it in the new year <laughs> but it's not my favorite gray the next one is my favorite gray so the next one coming up is carbon gray now i thought this would be too dark for me and it is really i'm not a dark person but the shimmer in carbon grey is on another planet. Now I saw earlier in the week that Gemma had said that she mixed this colour after buying her Volkswagen Golf. And I can see why. It looks just like the paint. And it melts. It actually melts. I feel like with this colour, you can see how CJP, when you place it on the nail, and you've got the perfect consistency and that perfect ratio, how it just does its thing. I can't put it into words, but it goes on the nail, you've got little bits of powder, and it just forms into this really beautiful like like pearl of of acrylic it just does its thing i just i love it i love the color i didn't think i would and i really really do so i think this is the last one i think it's mulberry it is so loganberry was really really popular on the cjp website and it's always said limited edition on it, but it was on for the website for that long. I thought it was a joke. I thought, oh, it's been part by mistake. You know, it hadn't one day Logan Berry appeared and caused absolute carnage in the CJP world. But Mulberry is its kind of replacement, if you like. Now, it shows up mega dark on camera and it's not. I've seen a couple of people had had a bit of an issue trying to photograph it and show the true colour. The true colour of it is when it's over the white tack that I've got underneath. Before I put my second bead on, that's the colour. So if you need to skip back to look at it over the white tack in the middle of the nail, do that. Because that's the colour. Don't be put off by getting it um, because you think it's like black. It's not. And then I did do my nails. I did film it, but I've lost the bloody footage. <laughs> so, just thought I'd wave them in front of you. I've got CJP Acrylic, CJP Glitter, and the Glitter Fairy Glitter. And used CJP Tack Free Top Gloss, so I just thought I'd show you. And here is a picture of the light colours. I've not got one of the dark ones, I bloody deleted it. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely Christmas. And an amazing new year i don't know if i'll see you again this side of the first of january but i will definitely see you on the other side if you're in the nail world good luck one more week to go you'll get there and it's so worth it in the end see you next time bye